day unique citizenship ceremony today at the state's Navy sub base. Several people associated with the base took the oath today to become official American citizens. News 8's Tina Detail explains why today's ceremony was so special for this group. For many here today, they were already serving this country, and now they can say officially their country as well. Oh, say can you see? For a short time Monday, a special hearing of the U.S. District Court convened at the Submarine Force Museum in Groton. All rise. With the Honorable Senior Judge Warren Edgington presiding, 15 people representing 12 countries took the oath of allegiance. So help me God. I congratulate you. Now, citizens of the United States. And for one new citizen, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And longtime sailor, a chance to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. Feels on, feels great. Feels great. Kelvin Seely has been in the U.S. Navy for 13 years. He was among those currently serving, retired military, and their families, now new Americans. Iris Larson's husband is a diver at the submarine base. So it's a perfect day, and my husband works here too, and we love Connecticut, so it's like, it, it's perfect. But the lower elections and what we call the hustings are very important. But Words of wisdom about the rights and responsibilities of an American. Oscar Manuel Segura Acosta, the Dominican Republic. It didn't take long for these new Americans to get the opportunity to register for one of their rights, and that, of course, is the right to vote. On the scene in Groton, Tina Detel, News 8.